Greetings and uh, this is the last week of the year and uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to you and spend time with you in the Word of God and prayer. And typically in this time of transition when we cross over from one year to the other, uh, many of us take time not only for revelry, for celebration, but we also take time for reflection, to take time to think about the year that is coming to a close and the year that we are entering into. And we think about change, we think about how the year ahead of us can be better, can be new, can be different. Uh, and we also think about some of the things that we've done well in the year that's passing by, which we can build on, we can take with us as we move forward into the year ahead. So in this time of transition, I want, to, I want us to spend this week on talking about uh, interesting subjects, that of traditions. And I want us to see the value the importance of godly traditions and also which uh, which we must of course hold on to and then also understand traditions which we must let go traditions that may not be valuable to us and just have a sense of uh, discerning and understanding what traditions we must hold on to and and uh, what traditions we must be willing to let go so that we could continue journeying into the things God has for us. There are traditions we must hold on to, things that we must not, we must not let go. The Apostle Peter writes this in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. He says, as he's, as he's writing to the believers who would be, who've been scattered um, throughout Asia Minor, which would be modern-day Turkey, Syria, of course, Israel, and the neighboring countries. Uh, he's writing to them and he says, For this reason, I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though you know and are established in the present truth. Yes, I think it is right, as long as I am in this tent, to stir you up by reminding you, knowing that shortly I must put off my tent, just as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me. Moreover, I'll be careful to ensure that you always have a reminder of these things after my decease. The Apostle Peter, writing to believers who have been scattered through Asia Minor, repeats or reiterates the importance of reminding them of this of the present truth in which they are established. So over the first 30, 40 years of the church, these believers have been established in truth. And Peter says, I want to keep reminding you of this truth that you've been established in so that you don't let go. And so in this passage, he says, I am reminding you. And uh, I'm also going to make sure that you will be reminded of these things even after I die. So we see the importance here that we must hold on to the present truth, the truth that was given to the church. We must not let go. So times are changing. Uh, things around us are ch changing. The world is changing. World views are changing. The way people are thinking is changing. But as believers, you and I must continue to hold on to and we must continue to be established in the truth that was given to the church. That those are traditions we must not let go. The truth we must never let go. That's something we hold on to through time. Let's pray. Father, we ask that in a world that is changing so rapidly all around us, times, perspectives, worldviews, are changing. Help us to hold on to the truth that has been delivered to the church. 
May we be reminded of it constantly. May we never let it go. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.